Thank you. Thank you. Stop it. Put on your shirts. <laughs> Why arrest a thief when he can turn over a new leaf? It's a liberal solution that's hard to believe for stores overrun by thieves. New York City Mayor Eric Adams unveiled an ingenious new plan to combat skyrocketing retail theft cases. Cover everything in the store with <laughs> They call it the SF approach. Actually, it's worse. Adam, Adams wants to install kiosks in stores that would connect potential criminals to social service programs. <laughs> so they're, la they're laughing before it even ends. <laughs> the idea is to get them the help they need before they ransack the joint. I know, it makes sense, right? That's like asking Brian Stelter to sign up for Weight Watchers when he's in line at Arby's. <laughs> Probably not a bad idea. Adams is also proposing de-escalation training for retail workers, or something we used to call groveling. So rather than enforce the law and prosecute shoplifters, many of them repeat offenders, the mayor's office seemingly wants to solve the crime problem by assuming criminals hell-bent on stealing will instead take the initiative and avail themselves to free resources via a kiosk. It's the same logic behind most reform. If we don't punish criminals, then maybe they won't be criminals. Everyone assumed when recidivists were released from prison, they'd just go home and be great dads. Well, that was one hell of an assumption, and it was wrong, as well as a lame replacement for police and prosecution, which used to be, you know, a great crime deterrent. And so these responses aren't dealing with criminality, but changing the citizens' response to such criminality, absence of police, which is now just acceptance. Just imagine how these kiosks might work. Whoa, 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 sir, excuse me, excuse me. Um, I can tell you have no intention of paying for this stuff. Allow me to de-escalate this situation. Have you heard about our social services kiosk? <laughs> you don't need to steal any of this stuff right now. We offer a wide range of shipping options, so you just tell us what you're gonna steal, and then we'll send it to you later. <laughs> I can tell you're not convinced, but we also have perks for our frequent shoplifters, such as yourself, stock options, membership in our Wine of the Month Club. Can I sign you up? <laughs> oh. Can I get another kiosk? Look. Excellent work on finding something that is almost like a kiosk. Must have been hard. Yeah. Joe, uh, I think you love a good kiosk, don't you? I love a good kiosk, Greg. That is, that is true. But I, what I don't love is being embarrassed in public. And to me, if someone stops me at a store and says, you've been shoplifting, well, you look at this kiosk, I'm not going to wait around <laughs> and be humiliated like that. I wear a false mustache when I buy Activia. <laughs> what, I'm what I'm trying to say is, like, cr criminal justice isn't just about rehabilitation. It's about deterrence mm -hmm. and punishment. And I'm fine with the kiosk. Just, just the kiosk should be located in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Kat, that gives me an idea, like about deterrence. The kiosk just pop up, and out come a machine gun, and it just shoots the guy in the head. Do you think that's a little strong? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't. Okay, so teaching them how to de-escalate will not solve the issue of why anyone would want to do that. Right. If you know to maybe put yourself in a threatening situation. To I don't know, make your employer happy. That probably pays you like minimum wage if you work at you know it's not like a Dwayne Reed or you work at you know, something like that. It's not your business. And I don't think anyone out there is committing crimes because they just haven't been to the right kiosk yet. <laughs> this is kind, you know it kind of makes me feel bad about. Uh, prison reform, Aaron, because I thought, like, I bought into the idea that there were all these kids without their fathers, right? They all went to, that was the whole argument. You lost a generation of dads. But there was this faulty logic that the assumption that they were all going to come out and just not commit crime. <laughs> so we let people out, and then they committed more crime. It's kind of the same kind of wishful thinking. Do you agree with me? Um, 
I think that there were some good portions when it came to criminal justice reform, but in the larger conversation here, coddling criminals is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. the, the, to the point that, like, the issue here isn't that they haven't found out that there are social services that can help them. The issue is that we are not taking the steps necessary to make communities safer, to stop crime, and to effectively prosecute individuals when they do commit a crime. There is a difference between a serving a life sentence for a first-time drug offense mm -hmm. and also continuously shoplifting, vandalizing, and destroying neighborhoods, right? The, the, the justice system is supposed to be blind and balanced. Mm -hmm. And there are certainly conversations about how it is neither. Mm -hmm. But to not prosecute criminals is absolutely insane. And then to try and say that it's now the CVS employee's job to de-escalate the situation, that's like sending a social worker to like a crime scene. You're, you're already in a bad situation. You need to be able to have law enforcement and prosecutors who help take care of this because you're not going to stop crime if people think, you know what, I'm going to get away with it. I think, good point. I think, Professor, that everybody is better at escalating than de-escalating because we, we, we should be escalating the problem. Why not just like, oh, you know, it's like, wouldn't that be more enjoyable? Because I, I think everybody's really good at escalating things. Yeah, so, so everybody who works at a, at a, a CVS now has to be a trained Golden Gloves boxer or <laughs> yes. jiu-jitsu black belt. Right. Yeah. So, not, not to be a buzzkill here, but yeah. there are three factors that are predictive of violent crime. Two of those are easy to guess. They're age and sex. Mm -hmm. Overwhelmingly, it's male, and overwhelmingly, it's between, I think it's 6 and 16. Mm -hmm. But the third factor, and this is the impetus, this is the reason for this, it's there's no adult male present in the home. Mm -hmm. And to a certain extent, neither conservatives nor liberals, for different reasons, want to talk about that. So back to your earlier monologue, when you talk about uh, uh, crime in the African-American communities, that's not traced to any racial thing. That's traced to the lack of an adult male in the home. So that was the impetus behind that. Right, right, right. Yeah. And that's uh, and it's interesting because, both like the conservatives like to bring that up, but there's nothing they can do about it. Correct. Correct. There's not there's So it's like that when you bring it up, and then the left goes, "Well, that's just racist." Right. Because there's no way. Like this is a this is a thing that will never be changed. I guess it's just. Yeah. And that's the that's the problem with identity politics is you have to have someone who looks like the members of the affected community bring up the criticism of the people in the affected community. So that's why I would guess you'd have to have golden gloves boxers who are all different kinds of races. Yes. At CVS. Yeah. Uh, and even Fox Security. I think they would make it nice. I think they would make, I think they need to make all the drugstores look better. They're very depressing. Do you ever go to CVS or Walgreens? I just feel very sad when I go in there. That's because you're not at the kiosk. Yeah, I'm not at the kiosk. It's also because I'm picking up a prescription. And if I'm picking up a prescription, I'm in a lousy mood. Mm. Well, that went over well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should end this segment here, huh? Well, let's keep talking. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.